Hey guys, it's Backpack Jack. It is September 2015. The summer is gone and I am packing for our annual girls only fish and chicks fishing weekend. It's a fall weekend so I'm going to have to make some adjustments to my kit and I thought that I would show you what I'm going to do. This is my fishing kit. It looks very much the same as it did in the spring. I made some adjustments inside and we've also added this collapsible rod. It's just got a very basic uh, reel on here, but it works pretty well. And we found this on the side of the road after Fish and Chicks weekend about, I don't know, six, seven years ago maybe. And uh, we've been using it this summer with the kids and it works great. So far I've cut nothing bigger than about four or five inches, but hopefully Fish and Chicks weekend is going to be the magic for So me. it's fall time now. The leaves are falling off the trees. It is sweltering hot. We've had temperatures up in the high 30 degrees Celsius with intense humidity the last little while. Even the kids haven't been quite so go go go. <laughs> but it's fall and that means it's cooling off and we're getting more rain so I'm gonna make some changes to my system. What I haven't changed yet is my bag. I'm still using my Plano Tackle System soft-sided bag. I'd really like to move this in a backpack when I get into the fall because I want to add my rain gear in here, put in some rain pants, put in a, maybe a down vest, a fleece sweater, but, barring that, I'm so show in the, the first pocket here, I keep a few things. That's fall, I'm going to add in a pair of little woolen mittens. And this is just a shirt sleeve that can work as a buff on the head, sort of like a head wrap. It's also made of cotton, which means it will make char cloth for me, start a fire, whatnot. can use it for pressure bandage on a wound for a first aid kit, all sorts of things. Then in here, I've got a little lighter, a bobber. Ziploc bag, some line, some more line, deck of cards in case it rains. I mean, really bad rain. We are fishing chicks. We don't stop because of the rain. We do stop because of thunder and lightning. That will get us off the water, but we do not stop for the rain. Got some aluminum foil in here for shore lunch, cooking up a little bit. Well, this big uh, outside pocket here is more fishing gear. I have a couple of fish handling gloves, which also will provide some extra warmth. Got a big pair of fish pliers here to remove hooks. Uh, this is for like pike and musky and where you have to really get in there sometimes. I've got a Buck Silver Creek bait knife. Works great as a fillet knife and as a bait knife and it also works great for processing wood. Got a roll of Gorilla Tape, ever useful, fixing fishing poles, fixing people. Looks great. Bug spray. Bug wipes. Little sunscreen, it's a SPF 50, it's just a little stick, but uh, I prefer to wear sleeves and hats, so I really just need cheeks and nose and ears and maybe a little bit of the back of my neck. I've got long hair, so I don't really need to worry about that, so just a little bit of bug spray for me. Uh, Gerber suspension multi-tool, which will work, it's got pliers on there for taking out fish hooks. It's got all sorts of good stuff in there. Backpack baby's going to get in the sunscreen right, we'll now, so I'll be right back. Got a fish mouth spreader here, which will work as a fish mouth spreader. It will also hold my clean canteen water bottle over a fire. And a few if needs odds be. and ends, I've got a sunglasses holder. It goes around your neck, keeps my glasses from falling off into the drink. I've got some tent spikes in here, which will work great to make an improvised camp stove. Pot holder. Just jab them into the ground. And you can hold your pot up over the ground, or you can also use them to stake out a shelter. And then we've got some assorted zip ties in there, a couple lures. This one's still got a J-hook in it, so I'm going to be careful of that. That caught me my big fish last year, five, five and a half pound, 22 pound largemouth bass. And sharpener. It's just Gerber handheld, but uh, works pretty well to sharpen up the knife. Basically. Side pocket in here is basically survival emergency gear, so we've got some fisherman's friend, ha ha, cough chops. We've got a first aid kit, and here we've got some Aquatab to purify water, we've got some soap, we've got some antibacterial ointment, we've got wipes, we've got tampons, we've got band-aids, we've got SPF lip balm, we've got Advil, we've got maxi pad, we've got some big band-aids in there, and we've also got a signal mirror in there in case of emergencies. This kit isn't really designed to 
get us through the zombie apocalypse. This kit is designed in case we end up on shore in a storm with a broken boat, no cell phone signal. We need to uh, get some help. It's a big lake. To get caught out on it is pretty easy. And to find help might not be quite as easy. So that's what we're setting up for. Backpack girl has the... We've also got a little three AAA flashlight in here. Really simple. Waterproof matches with striker and there's some cotton balls in the bottom of that container as well for some tinder. Emergency all-weather bag. This is basically just a big marla blanket turned into a sleeping bag. I'm not really going to count on it, but we'll help reflect the heat of a fire if we need to build one if we get caught on shore. Emergency poncho for any of my compadres that don't have a rain jacket. We can also use this to improvise this shelter as well. These two things together should give us a bit of a shelter. Some instant chemical hand warmers. And then this in here is a fire kit. There's a hair elastic and then wrapped up with gorilla tape and a little metal. That noise you're hearing in the background is backpack boy backpack girl and backpack dad playing with a remote control car on a brand new ramp that they made for it. So in my secrets case here, it's a metal tin, old school style, and secured it with a little bit of Gorilla Tape. It doesn't really make it waterproof, but maybe a little more water resistant and certainly keeps it all together. And then in here I've got three wet fire cubes, which will burn even when they are wet, which I think is very cool. And I've got a Coughlin's Dome Bar, which is basically a ferro rod with a magnesium strip attached. I'm not a big fan of the magnesium bars. It takes a lot of work to make shavings from magnesium bar as opposed to from, say, pine wood. <laughs> uh, but the ferro rod is attached to it, and it will make surefire if you're patient enough. <laughs> if not, just use a ferro rod as usual. So that is my little fire kit. So that's our little supply kit in there, our little survival kit we have in there. The girls all make fun of me, but we have a very big lake that we fish on, and a storm can come up quickly, and we can get caught in it, and I just want us to be a little more comfortable. Never mind if we get caught in it. So emergency. those are the outside pockets of the bag, and now for the inside pocket of the bag, which we see more seasonal adjustments. I've got my insulated thermal bubba beverage container, I guess. It will keep things hot. And I mean hot for a good six hours, keep them warm for eight or more hours. So this is going to carry my coffee for me. Liquid of the gods. My fishing hat, including pike and bass blood and guts and stuff. If I'm not wearing my baseball hat, I'll be wearing my winter hat. Either way, they both come with me. Start the morning with a winter hat, switch out to a baseball hat later. They both fit in there. I have more fishing stuff in here. I've shown this kit in a previous video. This is just a little fishing supply kit that I have. There's some hooks, weights, sinkers. There's um, all sorts of synthetic lures in there. There's a cork in there to make a bobber. There's a knife in there to help cut line and stuff. It's a pretty comprehensive little kit. There's no line though. Not a lot of hooks. This kit in here has some hooks, some weights, um, it's got some treble hooks, it's got a few more lures on it and some jig heads and stuff. So that is my primary fishing kit right there. A rod and those two little bags. And the rest of this kit is comfort, convenience and survival. Bandana, cloth, snacks. This is buffalo chicken snacks. It's spicy buffalo flavored chicken in a can with crackers. That can can then be turned into a stove if I need to. Aha! Uh -huh. Double usage. Bag of snacks. I just got some shreddies, mornings, mixed, I don't know, it's like trail mix kind of with no nuts and then some gummies in there. Another cloth. This is a rain jacket that I can unfold and wear if the rain pelts up if somehow we get a sudden storm and I don't have my rain gear with me bag full of drinks for the girls. Hot drinks and cold drinks. Coffee, herbal tea, tang, and lemonade just to do a little brew up if we get stuck on shore in a storm. Ditto this. I've got one metal tin cup that we can stainless steel, 18 ounces, Ozark Trail. Put that on a fire and uh, boil up some water. Clean canteen bottle in there, eight ounces, same thing. Put over a fire, heat up some water, put in cold water, whatever. This sock is just a good luck charm. It is my lucky pig sock. Keeps my bottle from sweating if we do get 30, 40, 50 gazillion degrees weather next week. <laughs> 
And then last but not least, just an assortment of Ziploc bags. This is a one quart bag that will work with my water, water purification tablets that are in my first aid kit. And then some smaller bags we can, who knows what we can do with them. Some possibilities are endless. So that is my new fishing kit for my 2015 Fish and Chicks fishing extravaganza. So that is a look at my fishing kit for 2015 Fish and Chicks fishing weekend extravaganza. I am currently in search of a new lure, uh, sorry, a new reel to go on my six foot rod. Uh, this is my backup rod. I've also got a more heavy duty trolling rod that I use. Um, equipment for me, not so important. I'm an equipment junkie, but not yet when it comes to fishing. So, so that's my fishing setup my for set. next weekend's trip. Wish me luck. Thanks for watching.